after a night out, some of us are more confident on the dance floor than others. So are you dragged kicking and screaming or do you think you've got the moves to impress? Whatever your dance abilities, I'm just about to meet an expert, star of West End smash hit musical Legally Blonde and formerly Roxy Hart in Chicago. It's Aoife Mulholland who's going to give us all some much needed tips on the do's and don'ts when it comes to hitting that dance floor. So, you are, of course, used to dancing professionally, but do you ever let your hair down on a night out? There's nothing better than going out with a big bunch of friends, having a few cocktails and having a good boogie on the dance floor. I love it. When you're hitting that dance floor, what are the do's and the don'ts? Don't jump up and down too much. For the girls, you have to remember you're not in the gym now. You know, yeah. you're on the dance floor, you mightn't be wearing your sports bra and <laughs> there might be a lot of jiggling going up. You know, just doing this thing. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's a good move. So we've all woken up in the morning and thought, oh no, was that me with the pole dancing? The famous pole dancing. If you're feeling really confident and you love the song and if you're dressed appropriately, I'd say go for it. But um, I'd say have a couple of practices before you, you, know, you venture forth and definitely be, be mindful of people around you. Maybe for the guys, the break dancing. Just be careful of your limbs and it's really good, but you can be seen to be a bit of a show off when you do it. So just make sure you're really good at it before you do it in front of an audience. So obviously as a professional dancer, you have to think about every single muscle in your body and that's going to include your facial expressions. But on a night out, you can be slightly more relaxed. You can be, but I have been guilty of doing the overbite. You know, when you're, uh, you think you're really cool and uh, sexy and then you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just not a good look, is it? A lot of people do things with their lips, like they go, yeah, but no, it just doesn't work, does it? Men on the dance floor, they can get a little bit handy. There's nothing worse than dancing with your girlfriends and then you feel these hands coming around your waist. It's a big turn up. I always quite enjoy the finger dancer. Finger dancing. I, I've never got that. I just don't know what people are doing there. Dancing is for your feet, I think, not for your hands. Not for your hands. <laughs> not, especially think... your fingers. And what about those smooth operators? You look at the dance floor, the dry ice, the flashing lights, and there he is. You're Adonis with all the moves. A man that's quite confident, he knows he's a good dancer, but not a show off either. Yeah. I think every woman would fall for a smooth operator, and it's a good thing sometimes. Eva, thank you so much. I cannot wait to put your dancing tips to the test. <laughs>